and welcome back to the Sister Scientist. Today, with the special occasion of Earth Day coming up this week on Wednesday, April 22nd, we're going to do an experiment to represent pollution in the Earth. And you can do this with just a few simple materials. The, one, the first material that you're going to need is some kind of flat bowl or plate or something that's very flat that you're going to be able to pour into so that it won't extend over the edges. And you'll see what I mean as we go on with the experiment. The second thing you're going to need is milk and preferably 2% milk or whole milk or something that's a fattier milk will work better for this experiment. The third thing you're going to need is some food coloring. And particularly for this experiment, since it's Earth Day, and you can do this with any colors that you'd like, but I'm going to use blue, green, and red to represent the Earth with the blue and green um, dots that we put in, and then red to represent pollution or something that comes into the Earth, whether that's air pollution or water pollution or something that we're doing as human beings to the Earth, it will represent that pollution and then we can take a look at what the results are. The last material you're going to need is Dawn dish soap and you're going to need very little amounts of this, maybe just a drop or two of this dish soap. So just making sure you have a few of those on hand. The purpose of this experiment is to see what happens when you put the colors of the earth in this experiment, but then when you add just a drop of pollution and what that can do and how that spreads across the earth. And we're going to call this the magic milk experiment. So let's check out what happens and try to figure that out in order to best prepare for Earth Day this Wednesday. Just now getting started with this experiment, you're going to first take your milk and just pour it to cover the base of whatever bowl or plates that you have found, just to cover a good distance. And this is just going to be representative of the base of the Earth. So there you go. The next thing we're going to do is take the blue and green food coloring and just put a few dots in our experiment, again, to represent the earth. So put three or four, five, maybe. And this will just stay in place like that. Not too many to cover the whole amount of milk, but just enough. Let's see what happens if we add just one drop of red pollution to the earth. experiment are extremely interesting to me. So you put some green and blue to represent the earth just in a little bit of milk and it represented the beautiful colors that happened throughout you know a grand view of the earth maybe from space with just one drop of red food dye and a little bit of soap to get the process moving the red expanded through the entire globe that we represented in our experiment. And it, re and it went through quickly, integrating with all the different colors and moving in circles. One piece of pollution can expand exponentially more than we recognize. It's important to take care of our Earth so that when we do have pollution, we can find some way to keep it from spreading or to keep it from damaging our Earth. But more importantly, it's important to keep in mind that just one small bit of pollution, whether that's through littering or air pollution, water pollution, can expand throughout the whole earth just because everything is so connected. So maybe it'll have us think twice before we litter or throw a piece of trash on the ground or do anything that might pollute our earth because that's what Earth Day is all about, learning to take care of our planet and to see its natural beauty.